Ophelia! Shh. You guys, it's not a video if I'm not being interrupted by something and tonight it's my bunny. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's in the middle of the night. All of my family is sleeping and this is when she acts crazy. So you're probably gonna see a rogue going back and forth. Come here. Come here, Ruggie. Come here, Ruggie. <laughs> ah, she's insane. I did not actually intend to do this video. Um, currently, I am sick, which is why no video went up on Monday. It's also why I have this beautiful, sweaty sheen of a glow, thanks to a fever and puking all day. But I have been obsessively watching declutter videos and makeup collection videos and honestly, they are the only thing that have been putting me to sleep um, during the last 48 hours. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't have anything to declutter except for maybe my cat. So I decided that instead I was gonna show you guys a collection of my makeup. Um, specifically my highlighters because next to eyeshadow, highlight is probably my second favorite thing to do makeup wise. And I feel like I have a pretty good collection. Some of them are high end, some of them are low end. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned and let's start pulling out all my highlighters and so I can show them off to you. <laughs> Baby, come here. Come here, Rookie. Oh, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Come here. What you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Why are you interrupting mommy's video? Huh? What are you doing? Do you want to be on camera? Rookie. Okay, so this is my most of my collection of highlighters. I have a little bit more uh, next to me. Hopefully you guys can see everything okay. I turn the lights down. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break them down. I'm gonna show you guys my low-end palettes first. Um, not really low-end, but like my drugstore slash affordable palettes. And then I'll show you guys the higher-end, more expensive palettes. You guys are probably gonna hear my bunny in the background because she's the one who does the filming. Yeah, she's my cameraman, camera woman. And um, she likes to drink while she's filming, so you're probably gonna hear her banging around, you know, making a mess, being loud and reckless because she wants you guys to know who's really behind the camera. Okay, let's get into this. To start, I'm going to show you guys my different highlighters that come with different eyeshadow palettes, which oddly enough, they're all by BH Cosmetics. And also, you guys are gonna see a theme that, because I'm very incredibly pale, typically when they come in a set where there's like more than one highlighter, so like if it's like a trio or a quad or something, typically I can only use maybe one, possibly two highlighters, simply because I am so freaking pale, everything is too dark for me. The first one is the It's My Ray Ray palette by BH Cosmetics. There is another palette that she's come out with, but it's only eyeshadows. And this one's really cool because it comes with the highlighters and it comes with the bronzers and then also comes with eyeshadows as well. The eyeshadows are beautiful. I love it when the eyeshadows come with the different face products because when you're lazy like me, and you just wanna have all your stuff together in one place. Like seriously, this is my dream. But all right, so these are the highlighters and honestly, I love them. Uh, I can only wear this Moonlight actually as a highlighter. The others I love as eyeshadows. So this one is Moonlight. It is the lightest, AKA the only one that I can use. And let me see, this one is Radiant. It's kind of a more pinky tone. And then this one is French Toast and it's gonna be for more of a deep skin. But yeah, as you can see, that is the only one that I can use. I love it. If I could literally cover my entire body with highlight, I would. All right, so that's the It's My Ray Ray uh, eyeshadow palette. Next is the Sylvia Ghani, what is this called? I think it's just the Sylvia Ghani. Yeah, it's just the Sylvia Ghani eyeshadow palette and it comes with two highlighters and they are Libra and Opal. And again, I can only use Opal. Libra is unfortunately too dark for me. Opal's really nice. I love how it kind of has like that wet look. It is a little bit powdery and it is a little bit more chunky. Libra is so pretty. I wish I could wear Libra. So that is Sylvia Ghani's 
eyeshadow palette. Hopefully you guys can see these. I cannot turn my light down anymore. Next, I have the Desert Oasis palette by BH Cosmetics, and I love this palette. Hands down, if you don't have it, I think that you should get it. I love, love, love this palette. These two shades work really good as both transition shades, but you can honestly use them as contour. Uh, I cannot use this one, and this one's like pretty much too dark, so I use them as eyeshadows, but if you have a skin tone, unlike me, they would work for you. But they have all of these beautiful highlights over here and I can honestly use all three of these. So I have better options with this one than I do with most palettes. This one is Bliss. It's this really pretty yellow tone. I'll hold it up closer so you can see in a second. And this one is Serenity. These are so soft and velvety. This one is Mirage. See, Mirage is a little bit on the darker side, but I can pull it off, especially if I mix it with the other two. Um, this one is Hideaway. This one is Utopia. And these are a lot better for deeper skin tones, but still freaking gorgeous. I mean, the shine on those is so amazing. Also, that swatching job so gorgeous. I should become a professional swatcher. Next are my two Zodiac palettes by BH Cosmetics. I have the Love Signs and this is just like the regular Zodiac and I'll be honest the highlighters in these kind of suck. They're really scratchy. They're not soft or velvety. They they're baked. I'm not drawn to baked shadows. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of these highlighters. I had to scratch off the top layer to kind of even get to them. That is really pretty though. I forgot that that highlight was so pretty. And this is the original Zodiac palette and it looks like this. I obviously have used this palette a lot more than the other one. They are very similar except this one is more cool toned. That one is slightly more warm tone. I like cool tone highlighters so much more than cool tone or warm tone highlighters, but this one honestly is a lot better of a texture than that. So I'm gonna have to play with these and I don't know, see what I can do with them. So those are the BH Cosmetic highlighters and the different Zodiac palettes. Next I have two brands that are a little bit more obscure and I honestly don't know how long I've had them or where they're from. This one is by uh, Smoke and Mirrors. It is the Marble Pro Glow Kit, is that what it's called? Pro Glow Kit, yeah, cannot read upside down. But um, they are, again, these weird baked formulas that I'm really not a fan of and they do not work for me at all. They're incredibly scratchy, incredibly dry, and incredibly powdery. I'm not a fan. I got them for like Halloween or something. I'm honestly not sure. I've never used them because they're not my texture, but there's the pink one. You can't even see it. I mean, it's pretty, but the blue one, you guys even see that? I cannot turn my light down anymore. And the bronze one, well, <laughs> my swatches, you guys, my swatches. Yeah, it's trash. Next is this weird brand, it's Mark. I don't know if it's like Mark Makeup, Mark Cosmetics. I guess it's a form of Avon. I'm not sure if it's even still around. This is years old, I mean years old. Somewhere between seven and 10 years. And it's called twinkling gold but in here is just a powder and then it opens and there's a brush and you're supposed to like pump it i don't know and it's supposed to swirl on you and it gives you like a shimmery sheen the concept's cool it's just not showing up on will it show up on my table maybe no now it just looks dirtier than what it already was Next, I have these Makeup Revolution palettes, and this is the Soph X uh, highlight palette. I love this palette a whole bunch. Obviously, there's shades in here that I cannot use. My absolute favorite, again, is this purpley blue cool tone. They do not have shade names. They are super duper velvety, super duper reflective. I'll do the top row first. So those are the top four shades. That's my favorite. This blue one right here, absolute favorite. I will cover my entire face in that. I'm gonna have to go this way on my arm now. That one is clearly way too dark for me. Gorgeous if I had a deeper skin tone though. And this one also is too dark. But seriously, $7 for all of these shades. 
and I like that they have a good mix of some mid-tones, some deeper tones, and then some tones for us pale ass people. But next I have this Makeup Revolution palette and it's honestly a blush palette, but these are not my shades of blushes. I literally have never used them. I think I swatched one or two of them once. And I think these are supposed to be blush toppers, but because I'm so pale, they honestly work for me as highlights. This one's really good if I don't want to blind people, which I don't do that often. I, I like a strong highlight. Then I really like this one. I think this one's gorgeous. Again, it's like that cool tone. And obviously this one, too dark for me, but if I mix it with maybe this one, it would work. I don't know. And I've never ever swatched this one. Oh wow, that one's like super duper. That's almost my skin tone. That is just too similar in my to my own skin tone that it's not even showing up on me. So this one, I don't really like. I don't really even know why I have it, but I do. Next, I have these two cute NYX highlighters. Um, this one is called Cinnamon Spice. And I got these in some kind of advent ca calendar around Thanksgiving. Clearly too dark. This one's a really interesting one. It's a warm tone, like a brown shade, but it almost has like this greenish gold reflect in it. It's a really bizarre shade. I love it as an eyeshadow. Do you guys see like a little bit of that green? And then this one is Candy Cloud. I think it came with a third one, but I think I gave it to my daughter. That one's fun. I really like that one. It's kind of got a little bit of a blue shift maybe, but I absolutely love this one as an eyeshadow. I'm not disappointed at all that I got it. So those are my little NYX Sprinkle Town and Paradise Fluff highlighters. Next I have two ColourPop highlighters. This one is from the Zoella collab thing that they did. Um, I wanna say like this past spring possibly. I don't know, but the pan is freaking huge and it is called Swipe Right. So over here, it kind of looks like an old bruise. Like, you know when the bruise is turning yellow? When it's not in the light, it's kind of a weird color on my skin. I don't know how I feel about this one. Cause yeah, down here, now it looks more bruised. Hmm. Love this one. This one is Flexitarian. Love, love, love this one. It works with the brush, it works with the finger. It looks very wet, very, very silky, very velvety, and it is probably the boldest highlight I have. It looks very wet, very, very wet. Absolute favorite highlight. It is Flexitarian. I wanna get all of these shades, even the ones that are too dark for me because again, I love using highlight as an eyeshadow. Highly recommend these. I've been using this for six months and you can't even tell. There's barely a dent and I use this one all the time. But those are my two ColourPop highlighters. I only have one of each of these brands. I honestly should have shown this one with the Makeup Revolution because it's made by the same company, although it's Makeup Obsession. This is a brand new brand that, I don't know if they're actually brand new, but they're brand new at Target. And this is where my husband found it for me and he bought it for me and it is so gorgeous. It is called, you can't even see, it's so reflective. It's called Moon Glow and it's actually a setting spray. I have it with my highlights because watch and it kind of reminds me of that stuff that you can get at the halloween store but like 10 times better so i'm gonna use this as like a body spray and as a face spray especially if i'm gonna go out to a club or a party or something this one's silver and it's kind of like that iridescent silver but they do have one i want to say it's it's like a real subtle like goldish tone but it's a lot less you know what pow than this one. It does work really well as a setting spray. Uh, you just will shine. You'll look a little sweaty. Next I have this, and this is an Ulta Beauty face highlighting stick, and I really love this. I was surprised. I got it free in one of their, like if you spend so much money, then you get like this free makeup bag thing. And I really like it, not so much alone because it's not super duper reflective. It doesn't seem to affect my foundation, 
but it works as a really good base if I'm going to use a powder highlight on top of it. I feel like this acts as a good base and then I can put the powder highlight and then nothing moves and it kind of makes things a little bit more bold, a little bit more bright. So that was a really good find. And this one is by Wet n Wild. It is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder Blossom Glow. And I use this one all the time, as you guys can see. It's again, another one of those cool tone pink shades. Do you guys see that? It looks, again, very, very, very wet. And ah, it's just so pretty. That is so, so pretty. I love that highlight. So definitely another good buy. I just wish I knew how I felt about Wet n Wild with the whole cruelty-free status and everything. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. That's all of my drugstore affordable palettes. Um, so I'm going to show you now more of my ex more expensive palettes, more high-end palettes. First, I'm going to show you guys my face palette sets that I have. This is the Tardiest or Tardist, whatever you want, Pro Glow. And I just got this one in my Boxy Lux and love this one so much. Uh, this is more of like a gold tone where this one's more of like a rose gold, just like my nail in it. So love that. Let me see if I can do that again now that my camera is focusing. These are so gorgeous. They have, again, that very nice sheen to them and they're not chunky at all. So they're again, not gonna show off that texture that nobody really wants, but you can definitely see how that one's more gold and that one's more of like a rosy gold. This one is by far my favorite. That one's borderline too dark, so I have to mix it with a little bit of that one just to kind of simmer it down. <laughs> you guys, what, what did I just do? That is so funny. Why am I so, I feel like I just made like a wrestling ring or something. I, I'm impressed. I, that's magic. All right, I need to grow up, act my age, and keep swatching. This one only has one highlight in it. This is the Tardiest Pro Glow and Blush. And it has one highlight, one contour, and then it's got the all the blushes. But this highlight is a lot grittier than the ones I just showed you. But it really works for my skin tone. I wouldn't think that it works for my skin tone. It's definitely more reflective. Um, really like this highlight love it so much i'm doing like a no makeup makeup look and i'm just going for like a summery glow or almost like a glass skin i feel like this is the one that does it the best for me um because when it's with my face makeup it blends in a lot more and looks more like my skin tone all right and then this one is another face palette this one is the cover effects light medium palette and i got this in a boxy luxe as well really like this palette and it comes with technically two highlighters but then it has this brightening one and I love the brightening one because both both of these highlighters are way too dark for me let me show you the pink this is like the more pink tone one and you can see like that's that's too dark for me all right this is the more gold bronzy tone again way too dark but watch this brightener tone is perfect for me. So what I like to do is kind of layer it over these and it makes them a lot lighter and a lot more functional for me. This is obviously the light medium. There's a medium deep, I believe, and these will obviously be darker, but if you're really super light, this is still a palette that is 100% functional. I love this palette and I use it all the time. So my last face palette, and this is the Deck of Scarlet Belle Jordan palette and love this palette. It's the only face palette that I got from them before I quit getting their products because they changed up their whole game and I decided I didn't like how they were doing it. But I love this face palette and this highlight. Honestly, this blush and this highlight. These are two of my favorite products ever. It's very, very velvety. Again, it's very pigmented. This is a gold tone that actually works with my skin tone. Love wearing this. Definitely love these together. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch my blushes, but I love the two of those together. I really feel like they complement each other. So that's the Deck of Scarlet. It's edition number nine. It's the Belle Jordan collab, and I really think it's gorgeous. I wish that they didn't change their products because I wasn't a fan of the changes they made, and that's why I ended up ending my subscription. So I'm hoping that they go back and listen to the feedback that a lot of people are giving them because this was a great subscription. Um, 
I just don't like their new products and how they're doing it. But check it out. Maybe you guys would like it more than me. These are my next highlighters. These are all of my singles. Um, this one I got in a boxy charm and it's really cool. I like it because it like seals. So people like me who are incredibly messy cannot make too much of a mess. Okay, just pretend like I swatched a really good swatch, all right? I just absolutely love this highlight. It is so gorgeous. Very, very wet looking again. Um, I don't know. It's really, really cool. I like it. It's messy, but it's probably, you know, 90% user error. <laughs> Looks like I just did something illegal there. No, I was trying to clean up my highlight mess. So we're gonna set that aside. I am not doing very good at this whole swatching, highlighting, collection showing. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to up my game before I do my next collection. This is the Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan, number 41, Glimmers of BS. I don't know what that means. I got this one in a BoxyCharm as well. Love this so much. It's incredibly powdery but totally worth it. I really don't care. It can get all over the place because honestly, I'm gonna put it all over the place anyhow. Very, very beautiful. It is more subdued, especially next to this giant mess that I've got going on. My camera stopped, but what I was trying to say is that this is the Pretty Vulgar uh, highlight right here. I love this for an everyday, very subtle, you know, I'm wanting to look like I don't have a ton of makeup on. I'm not trying to blind people. I'm just trying to feel glowy and pretty. Definitely a good highlight. This one I haven't even used because I forget about it where I keep it in my makeup cabinets and I might have to, <gasps> so pretty you guys. Oh my gosh, I remember now why I got this. This is my dream ideal highlight. That space alien cool tone purpley glow this is this is my ideal highlight right here i want to cover my entire body in this shade and go live with kesha on a spaceship you guys that's that's my goal in life that's all i want so i'm gonna have to change where i put this one this one's by Too faced by the way um it's the diamond light i think that's just diamond fire highlighter they have other shades in this as well but clearly you know why I got the shade that I got. These are the last of my higher end palettes. I'm gonna start with this one. This one is actually the newest one to my collection. This is by The Balm. It is the Luminizers. I love this. They actually have like full size pans of all of these different Luminizers, but this is just the quad. I got it at TJ Maxx, I think. Obviously, again, I can't use all these shades. I do mix these together this one is way too dark for me, but I do use it as a blush topper. Love this one. Oh no, and I just scratched it with my nail. All right, I'll just swatch that one first. So this one is Emma Lou. Again, it's got that really pretty blue, purpley sheen to it, but these are more subtle. They're very, very, very soft, very finely milled. This one has a little bit more of a glitter base. Love this one. I do actually use this one. It is a little bit on the dark side, so I like to mix it with this one and it creates more of a color that I can use, but this is probably the one that I use most often. I'm not even telling you guys the name. So this one is Emma Lou, this one is Penny Lou, this one is Mary Lou, and this is Cindy Lou. Much too dark for me. That was not a good swatch. Much too dark for me and also too pinky for me. It's I don't know, I like it as a blush topper. Honestly, I've even worn it as a blush. So that is the Balm, uh, the Luminizer Quad, or I'm sorry, Squad. This one was a birthday gift from my husband. It is the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. And this is probably my absolute all time forever, if I can open it, favorite highlighter right here. This is Space Baby. I, again, coat my body in this shade. I use it as an eyeshadow. I use it as a lip topper. I use it on my Cupid's bow. I use it everywhere. I want to be this color. This is the next one. It is Glazed Donut. And I can honestly use that one too. Again, I love the highlighters that end up looking wet. 
This one is way too dark for me. Love it as a eyeshadow though. So pretty, way too dark as a highlighter, but gorgeous as an eyeshadow. These are probably honestly my favorite formula too. They are so silky, so smooth, so just amazingly gorgeous. I don't even think I said who this was. This is Ofra. I think I just said it was the Nikki Tutorials, but it's the Ofra. And you can buy the different pans full size too. Next is my most prized possession. And this is the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. It's part of the Game of Thrones collection that they did with Urban Decay. My husband and son bought me the entire collection and I just feel like I want to be like, oh. This is what it looks like on the inside and you guys, it is so freaking cool. I love how they've got the different egg imprints and I'm glad that they have an unusual color like the pink one and then they have some more safe colors. This one, I really think would be perfect for someone with deeper skin tones. This is the only one that I can honestly wear as a highlight. This is my one and only first experience with Urban Decay shadows, or I'm sorry, not shadows, but uh, Urban Decay highlighters, and I love them. So Drogon is this pink one, super duper gorgeous. Definitely use that, again, all over my body. Then Viserion is, let me figure out which one. Okay, this one's Viserion. I'm really bad at swatching. Too dark for me, gorgeous gold tone. I love that shade so much. That one is Regal and oh, I love these shades. They're so gorgeous. I'm really glad that they did Drogon with the, the pink since he's the more of the red dragons. I kind of wish that they had like a gold green shift for Rhaegal and more of like a yellow gold shift for Viserion so that it was more Game of Thronesy. but they nailed it with this one and that's the one I can wear. So that's the one I care the most about. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, so my camera's about to die, so I have to go, but that is my entire highlight collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will get much better at showing you guys my makeup collection. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Please comment down below what you would like to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video, so bye.